All right, guys, good morning. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Having a cup of coffee. It's about 5.30 in the morning in my office, and I wanted to do a deal on Chicago and their amazing attempt at going ahead and outlawing um, body armor. Well, it's hard enough to get a firearm in, the, in Chicago or Illinois, but now what they want to do is eliminate your ability to further protect yourself with a piece of steel or ceramic because only law enforcement and military should have those. It's interesting how this whole process is going through and what they're saying is only the police need those items. So anyway, moving on, we're gonna be talking about the Minnesota uh, new gun bill by introduced by a lady named Linda Slocum. I'm gonna put her picture right here because I'm definitely not gonna cover up my flag with it. In any case, let's talk about this thing real quickly. There's some highlights, and I'm pulling these things off the Minnesota Go Gun Owners Caucus. Now, I did take the liberty of reading through the entire bill last night. Unbelievable. And there are a couple things. They're hitting on the highlights, but there are several things that they, they missed or misread into the thing, or at least I interpreted it a little differently. So let's go ahead and talk about this. A two-day waiting period on the, all firearm transactions, and, and that includes personal sales back and forth or through a dealer. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. How is that going to help anything out? I remember back in the uh, Clinton ban, they had a five-day waiting period, and it proved it didn't do a damn thing. And this is always what they wanted to preach. The majority of the people in the country want gun control. Yep. You know what? Gun control. What is it? It's a definitive idea that we as gun owners have, and it's completely different from what the left-wing people want. It's absolutely asinine. Okay, so we're moving on. The total ban of all private sales and transfers, including for inheritance, family, curio, relics, and antique firearms. Now, what, what's interesting to me is if I die, what do my guns do? Go into probate until such time as my children can actually uh, qualify or go through the process of owning them? Unbelievable. Family. You, you can't just give a gun to a family member. Also, you can't loan a gun for more than 12 hours to an individual. An instructor or a family member or a person you know, it, no excess of 12 hours. It was, it was just totally interesting. All the, just the number of items that they placed in the bill, it is, at any one point in time that you violate this thing, it's a felony. If you have a misdemeanor with imprisonment up to one year, you're done. If you miss more than three child payments, you or they'll take away your guns or your ability to buy a firearm until such time as you've proven that you've caught up on your child support. So people who have lost their ability to defend themselves. It's a Second Amendment right. Now, am I saying it's okay to follow delinquent on your child support? Hell no. Be a man or a woman, whatever the case may be. Pay your child support. But you should have the ability, regardless of who, what, when, where, and how, to defend yourself. It's a Second Amendment right. Moving forward. Uh, complete registration of all firearms. Um, no. The uh, bans, and what it was is I think it's not the complete registration, but you have to register your assault weapons ban, or assault weapons, or so-called assault weapons. And what they do is they define all the in, in individual items, and all they did was they took it from the federal or whoever else did another one, and they slapped it on there. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, detachable magazine with one or more feature, including, you know, it's black. It's crazy. Uh, this thing bans all assault weapons, bump stocks, and large capacity magazines. And large capacity magazines, what they were talking about is that you either have to pin the magazine so it doesn't accept more than 10 rounds, and or you have to destroy them, turn them in for destruction, or remove them from the state. Similar to what they did in California, but I believe if you guys remember in California, didn't they get voted down? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, make suppressors illegal again. Possession is a felony. Do they even know the process that you have to go through in order to possess a suppressor? These people, this is absolutely asinine. What is the purpose of actually making that illegal to own or possess? What's the purpose? What are you gaining by doing that? That's what I want to know. What is the purpose? What is your frame of thought? I tell you what the frame of thought is, is, hey, let's just figure out every single item that we can put in there that will screw people from owning a gun. 
Requires all ammunition to be purchased in person from a dealer. All ammunition sales must be tracked and registered for one year. Or is it three years? I think it's three years. But in any case, what they do is all, you can't, like when you walk into a Cabela's and have all the ammo laying out, they want all that behind the counter and the salesperson has to be 21 or more. You have to get a signature, the items have to be tracked, and they have to be between a year and three years. I can't remember exactly what it was. I was trying to listen to the gun chat last night when we were doing this. Uh, prohibits persons delinquent in paying child support for possessing a firearm. The interesting thing, there's a couple more items in there that they may have missed, but I'm going to tell you something. The interesting thing is, is the, the imprisonment sentences that they put on there. The idea is that uh, any one person who has spent any time in a facility for mental problems, any police officer who has been submitted into a health or mental health facility, you're banned too. So to Popo, y'all better get on board with this thing because they're talking about you. If you go in for any kind of PTSD, if you see your partner shot down and you go, ah, oh, man, I got to go seek some help, you're done. That's all they need. I get fired up about this stuff, folks. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I'll put the uh, link also to the bill down below so you can read it all together. But I, I, I just, the, the, the thing that just really blows my mind is you have a people who have never fired a firearm in their entire life legislating laws to those who have. And also what they do is they stipulate in here a 30 round magazine, police can have those. The military, oh, the, they say, oh, the military may have them. Well, thank you, Minnesota. I greatly appreciate that, eh? Unbelievable. Linda Slocum. This will not fly, and if it does, I'll know where this country is going. It's unbelievable. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are this morning. I know it's a short video, but Minnesota, you guys have got to tell this lady where to go. We'll end it like this. If you, like, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. It's Code Boy 32 out.